Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know, I've been uploading like crazy lately, right? So today we have another pair of Bluetooth headphones. However, these are gonna be so far the most expensive ones I've tried on the channel. $100. I think previously the most expensive one was about $65, and then $50, and then lower than that. So this is by far the most expensive on the channel. They are the Origem HS3, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And these don't look like your ordinary headphones. I mean, they go into your ear, they're very good for workouts, but they have this wing over them. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Once again, I'm going to be asking myself a bunch of questions. I have some notes here. So how much are they? They're $100, like I said. Link will be down below if you want to check them out or look at some more information on them. Are they wireless? Yes, they are. Now, they're not completely wireless like AirPods where you just put them in, no cables at all whatsoever. These actually have a cable attaching both headphones to each other, but they don't have one connecting into your phone. So you could have the cable going around your neck, like on the back side of your neck, and then have them going into your ears, perfectly fine. I have no problem with that, by the way. Either completely wireless or with that little cable, I'm fine with it. And from what I could tell, most people are fine with it too. So why are they so expensive? So if you go to the website, you're gonna see that they do have a, quite a few features. These features include being wireless, of course, special hook to fit all your ears, a high frequency speaker, voice assistant, quick charge, and IPX5 water resistance. So can I work out with them? The answer is yes. I've worked out with them, I've played soccer, played sports, and they don't fall off whatsoever, they don't move. That little wing that goes over your ear, it's actually meant to help them not fall. They're gonna stay in place, you won't have to adjust them at all. That's very good about them. So you could play any sport with them, I just wouldn't go swimming with them. They're not completely waterproof, we'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, you don't want to go swimming with them. How do they sound? So this is the place that probably disappointed me the most. Now you guys know me, I love audio, I love bass, and although it says that these provide some rich bass, a high frequency experience, with high frequency speakers, I wouldn't say they're worth $100, in the audio department at least. So the bass is there, but it's not as deep. I've, I've heard better audio with cheaper headphones. But the audio itself is not bad, it's just, for the price you're paying, they, they should have been a lot better. I don't know how to explain this properly, I'm not very familiar with uh, audio terms, but sometimes it sounds a little bit empty, and sometimes it sounds like it's a little far away. It sounds clear, but it doesn't sound rich, at least not all the times. However, if you're gonna be watching Netflix, YouTube, or anything with dialogue, these headphones are perfectly fine for that, but you're probably not gonna be spending $100 just to use them to watch YouTube, you know? So there's that. Does it have noise canceling? Now this is another area that kind of disappointed me a little bit. So wearing them, if you're outside running, you're on the bus, anywhere, uh, you're probably gonna be able to hear the outdoor environment. So you're gonna hear cars passing by, they don't have noise cancellation. And if you're listening to music at loud volumes, the people around you are probably gonna be able to hear your music as well, which I don't really like. So it does have a voice assistant, like I said. Is it any good? You know, maybe the audio isn't the best, but the voice assistant might be perfect. And the voice assistant is good, but it's also not the best. So yeah, it's a voice assistant, but when I first used it, it asked me if I wanted to use Bixby. And from what I could tell on iPhones, it uses Siri. So really you're telling it to tell your phone to do something. So it's like a little voice in the middle. You tell the microphone what to do and the microphone tells Bixby. I'm using a Samsung phone, by the way, so Bixby is the voice assistant. So the, the headphones tell Bixby to do the thing. So is it really a voice assistant? I mean, you could have just told Bixby straight up to pause the music or something. And sometimes it doesn't even recognize my commands. So, and it doesn't even have that many commands. You could play the music, you could say play music, pause music, next song, previous song. If somebody's calling you, you could answer the call or decline it. And you could also set a reminder for things, you know, basic things that Bixby or Siri would be able to do. You could also ask it questions like what's the weather and things like that. So on the website they call it a smart assistant, you know, or something along those lines. I don't think the way it performs justifies calling it a smart assistant. I mean, even if it didn't have that voice assistant, I could use Bixby for that. Or I could simply just pause the music on my phone or on the button on the little remote on the cable. Anyway, how's the battery? So the battery is one of the areas that I'm pretty happy with. I've been using the headphones for a couple weeks now and I haven't found myself running low on battery. I haven't had to charge them as much as I would have thought. And it says that in 25 minutes or 30, you could charge them and then use them for six hours after that. So far, my experience with that has been pretty good. After charging them for a little bit, I haven't had to recharge them after using it for about two, three hours. So it should be pretty good on that end. But I'm also not a super heavy user, so if you use them heavily, you might have different outcomes. 
but I think you should be fine. So can I splash water on them? I touched on this a little bit earlier. Yes, you could use them in the rain, you could sweat a lot and get them wet, splash water on them, whatever, they'll survive. Just don't go swimming with them for obvious reasons. They probably won't survive being submerged in water for a long time. But for the other stuff, you'll be fine. So do I recommend them? I'm not gonna lie, they are decent headphones. But for the $100 price point, it's really hard for me to recommend them, especially because I have tried headphones that cost a lot less, that perform either the same or better in the audio department. They may not have a voice assistant, but the one on these headphones isn't really a must-have. The audio is not the best, the voice assistant is not the best, it doesn't have any noise cancelling. If the price was lower, maybe I would recommend them, but at this moment, at this price, it's really hard for me to do so. So that's gonna be it for this video guys, if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, a comment down below, and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.